Hey friends, welcome to a review with the Demon. Today I'm reviewing a beer from Other Half called Triple Dry Hopped All Citra Everything. It is a double IPA that clocks in at 8.5% alcohol by volume so if you're not aware other half brewing is from brooklyn new york but they have many locations they have like four locations in new york city they have a location in the finger lakes they have a location in philadelphia they have a location in washington dc and they just now opened a location in chicago the new other half location is in romova theater so when i heard other half was doing a tap room in chicago i was super excited i was beyond geeked because other half is my favorite brewery when it comes to hazy ipas and they have been for a while so at the time of this review this was canned on july 15 2024 so it's a little over a month in the can not quite two months it's not even two months actually so this beer is still really really fresh so before we get into the beer i want to get a little bit into the history of other half so when they first came out, I want to say around it was like 2014, they kind of started a line culture along with Monkish Brewing. And they blew up, they got really popular, and now they have a ton of locations. And their beer is a little bit easier to get. But some of their beers, in my opinion, are better than others because just because they make and pump out so much beer. But last time in my trip travels to new york i actually tried um i actually took home a lot of beer and not only did i try it but i took it home the double dry hop version of all citra everything and that beer was phenomenal so i'm really curious to see what this triple dry hopped all citra everything is and another crazy fact before we get into this beer, this is my first other half beer I'm reviewing in video form. It's not the first other half beer I've had, but it's the first other half beer I'm reviewing as a video. So I'm really excited. They're one of my favorite breweries, and it's crazy I haven't reviewed a beer by them yet. So here we are, other half, triple dry hopped, all citra, everything. Let's get into it, shall we? Salute. All right. So another thing I like about Other Half a lot, like their beers don't come off like overly sweet. I mean, they are going to be a little sweet because it's a hazy, but they're pretty well balanced, at least in my experience. That's how I feel about Other Half. And as you can see, I have my special Other Half Tiku. I love this thing. Um, all right, guys, let's get into the nose. Enough of me talking about Other Half. Let's get into it. Salute. So like a blast of like orange candy, like right up front, like almost like an orange candy you would get out of like a machine in the 80s. That's kind of what it's giving me right now. All right. It's a little grassy, a little grassy and a little dank mixed in with that like orange candy flavor. And I love that. I love that mix between like cit citrus sweet candy and dank. And in my opinion, I think that's what other half does really, really well. All right, let's take it. Um, Let's smell it again. Salute. Yeah, I don't know why, which I'm kind of surprised because Citra doesn't really give this off, but I was getting a little bit of grape on that, on that whiff of the nose. Kind of want this beer to open up a little bit because it is cold and I know when it opens up, I'm going to smell it a lot more. All right, so now I'm getting a little more like... um orange peel not quite grapefruit peel but i'm getting orange peel so i'm getting the orange peel i'm getting that like citrus candy and then i'm getting like a little bit of like dank grass i mean this smells really really good a little bit of like pine every smell is um different and that's what if, if you guys watch my videos you know that i think that if you're always getting something different that's what makes a good beer and the smell and nose on this is awesome all right let's uh take a whiff of it again salute getting a little bit of like booze on there which surprisingly it's not quite a triple but i was on that smell like i said i'm getting a different thing on every uh every time i smell this thing I'm almost getting like something like it would be creamy and not quite like lactose -y, but I'm, there's something about it. Maybe I'm getting a little bit of like, um, let me, let me dive more into it so I can explain myself a little better. I'm almost getting like a, 
I don't want to say vanilla, but something, there's something in there I'm getting that's giving me like a cream vibe. Not quite vanilla, but there's something in there that I can't quite describe that's giving me that vibe. So yeah, I got that. I got the orange peel. I was getting a little bit of grape, some booze. Um, what else? And the orange candy, that orange citrus candy was dominating the nose as soon as I opened this beer up. Yeah, the pine too. The pine is always there. It's kind of going in and out. Um, yeah, the pine is definitely very present and, and the grass is kind of wrapping this whole thing together. All right, one more time before we take triple dry hopped all citra everything. I'm so excited. Yeah, that pininess, that pininess is so nice mixed in with everything. That I, I feel like the pininess and the orange candy are probably the strongest smelling. I mean, everything is there. All the other flavor uh, smells are there, but maybe I had to dig a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of like grapefruit too. Some like grapefruit, like a, it's like a, like a pithy grapefruit smell. Wow, this smells awesome. All right, guys, smells fantastic. Triple dry hopped all citra everything i'm gonna pour a little bit of my glass before we take it down the hatch salute oh man that's really really good wow wow this is so off the first sip in my opinion this is probably like the best other half beer i've had in a while because like I said, they're my favorite brewery that makes hazy IPAs, but they make a lot of hazy IPAs, and some of their stuff is better than others. This is, like, top-notch. Like, it's really, really good. All right, let's take it on the hatch again. Salute. Yeah, that orange candy is definitely dominant. And then I and then it goes a little bit into like tart orange juice, but it's not like overwhelming so because sometimes when the whole beer is like tart orange juice or it's like intense, I don't really like that. So let's uh, dive into it a little more and see what else I'm getting. I'm getting a little bit of like tangerine in there, like fresh cut tangerine, orange candy. Um then I'm then it's also like quite like nice like bitter too I like that like bitterness on it the bitterness and the dankness in the grass that's all very much present like in the beer and that kind of balances out like um the citrus character all right let's take, take it on the hatch again salute So the interesting thing about this, I feel like they cut the citra hop in half. So you have the sweeter part of the citra. So they're going to give you like that citrus candy notes. Then you then you're getting like um tangerine. I was saying fresh cut tangerine slices and then you're kind of getting that like dank grassiness as well. This beer, man, this beer is so good. This is so good, man. Wow, like I said, this is the best other half beer I've had in, like, a long time. Like, a long time. This is, like, giving me memories of, like, when I first got into other half. Like, it's that good. Wow. I've been, I'm not going to lie. I was disappointed I didn't grab more beers for Citra Week because Ramova, other half, they were doing Citra Week. And they had, like, an entire lineup. They had this. They had the Oyster one, which I did grab. And then they also had, like, a Solo Exhibition Citra, which I also grabbed. Um, and I wish I would have got, like, the fresh, um, All Fresh Everything, which I did not. And then the Double Dry Hopped uh, Daydream, which I did not. Um, cause that one has like oats and lactose. This one does not, but man, this is so good. All right. I'm going to take it down the hatch again. Salute. I'm also getting a little bit of like table sugar on it, but it's not off putting. It's not too much. This beer is like, and that's the thing, like a good hazy IPA to me is going to be really well balanced. And this is a really well balanced like hazy like this is like how i want like my hazies to taste because the sweetness is there but it also like it tastes like a beer like it is bitter and grassy and in my experience like i don't want to say all of other half beer are like that but a lot of their beers still taste like beer to me they're they're a daydream series if that can get a little more into like sweeter lactosey territory but this is like oh, man this is so good all right let's take it on the hatch again salute
wow wow now it's kind of giving me like boozy like it's almost like i smoked weed and i drank like orange juice that that's kind of like the vibe it's giving me on that sip wow this is and you could taste it's double dry hopped the thing is like sometimes when beers are double dry hop or triple dry hopped even um they can be it can be a little too intense you can get like a medicinal like flavor on the back of your like um throat and it can often be too much and maybe that might happen is this can ages but right now like it doesn't taste over hop to me like at all and that's crazy because they triple dry hop this beer three times that's wild this is a really really well made i'm actually like this is i'm i'm gonna say this right now this is one of my favorite beers of 2024 for sure i would say this is just as good as the free folk stuff when i had the freak so folk stuff that was they were five the history of dogs was a five but then as i kind of waited it, it did decline a little bit but man this right now i as you as you could tell you guys know i'm stoked on this all right one more time before i give it my final score salute another thing this kind of reminds me of like this is like what i want to drink when i'm if i'm not drinking like a heady topper or a focal banger this is like the kind of hazy that i want to drink it's so good not that like other breweries don't make good hazies because they do i love west coast uh, breweries that do a lot of hazy ipas but this is like this to me is it right now on another level a uh, final score on a score from one to five i'm giving this a five this is probably like the th third or fourth uh five i've given this year um it's just so so good this is like one of the best other half beers i've had recently probably in like four years maybe even this is so good um i don't throw fives around often i don't do that lightly but this is just like a top-notch beer and this is gonna make my end of the year beer list this might even be in my top five it's unbelievable um i do love other half like i'm not gonna like say anything bad about them i wish all their beers were honestly this fire this is unbelievable straight five guys i don't have anything i honestly don't have like anything negative to say about this beer i i was like trying to critique it and like i honestly don't it's like what i want to drink if i'm not going to drink a heady or fockle or like a west coast ipa wow five salute guys have a good day cheers and drink good beer and listen other half is a little easier to get now so if you haven't had other half honestly do your research to see w uh, which ones are more popular and better and honestly snag some i mean they're not all this good but when they're when other half is really good they're on fire and this is on fire all right guys salute have a good day